Hello and welcome to PrimandPrep.com. Today we're going to be talking about the differences between a Chevette and a safety razor. So with me I have the Parker SR1 Chevette and I have the Edwin Jagger DE89 LBL safety razor, which is taken apart. I'm going to put it together and show you guys the differences. Um, so let's start off with the Chevette. So the Chevette is uh, in the same shape and it closes open and closes just like a straight razor and I have another uh, video and article about the differences between a Chevette and a straight razor which you guys could check out. But um, Chevettes were actually the name of a straight razor by Dovo which has the original Chevette and it actually became just a general term for any disposable straight razor pretty much. They used to be called disposable blade straight razors and that's the same thing as a Chevette. So what they, the type of blade that they use are mostly they use half of a du double edge safety blade. Um, so I have a shark, half shark, which is used for the Chevette right here. And I have a double edge safety blade right here, which is used for safety razors. So let me put this blade in real fast and you guys could uh, take a look real fast. Um, so most of them have a clamp that comes over and this one has a double seal. So as you can see it opens and closes just like a straight razor but it uses a disposable blade so you don't need to sharpen it. Uh, it's good on the go if you don't have a strop to sharpen your straight razor you could just replace the blade and after once it gets dull just throw it out and barbers actually will just throw it out after every user they used to use straight razors but people got concerned about bloodborne pathogens and that's another reason that the chevette uh, got created so that they could just throw out the disposable blade for every single user and the blades are super cheap um, it is harder to shave with a straight razor or a chevette compared to a safety razor, and I'll show you why once I get to the safety razor. But it takes a lot more practice, you have to be a lot more careful, you can cut yourself a lot easier. But the look and feel is just like a straight razor and a lot of people like that. So let's get right on to the safety, the safety razor and I'll show you the differences. So this uses a disposable blade as well, and how you put it on is... I don't want to cut myself. I have a three piece right here and there's a lot of different types of safety razors. I have a video and an article on the different types but this is a three piece safety razor. There's two pieces, one piece is butterfly open. Um, the main difference, this was created so that it could be safer and healthier for people to shave. And as you can see there's a safety bar right here you can see the blade and here's the head right here. So when you're shaving, um, a lot of the head and the safety bar are going to be touch grazing your skin. Um, the blade comes very, very close to your skin, but it doesn't go deep enough to cut you because it's protected by the safety bar. That's why it's called a safety razor. So overall, this is a very safer way and if you're just getting into wet shaving I would recommend you start off with a safety razor as opposed to a chevette or a straight razor but either way they're both very economical uh, the blades are five cents or less so compared to traditional modern cartridge razors such as the Mach 3 or the Gillette Fusion uh, it's a lot cheaper because those cartridges are very expensive that's why a lot of people are getting into wet shaving and plus just the process is very very old and very uh, calming actually lathering up uh, shaving soap or shaving cream with a badger brush and then shaving with a traditional straight razor chevette or a straight uh, or a safety razor is just um, a lot of fun overall so yeah those are the differences between a safety razor and a chevette uh, Please check out primandprep.com for more articles on male grooming and wet shaving, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope this was very helpful for you guys. Have a good day.